iPad OS 15 has introduced a bunch of new features for your iPad. But one feature that we're gonna focus on specifically in this video, we're just gonna to touch on real quick on the new multitasking kind of setup and style that's now available on iPad OS 15. All right, so if you wanna get into your standard multitasking split view, you can still do it the exact same way as you would before. So here we're open up an app. So you'd usually then drag up your dock and you would pick up another app and we can do this one and you drag it and drop it and boom there you are you're done you have two apps side by side in split view now the new thing here that you'll notice is at the top there is a new multitasking menu and so what you need to do is you hover your mouse or you can tap on the ellipsis icon here above each application and it'll bring up a little menu. So the first icon here on the left-hand side is to just place whatever app you're in in full screen mode. So basically the equivalent of swiping it out uh, to full screen and getting rid of split view. Then you have split view. So I can go ahead and tap this icon and it would make it into split view, which it already is. Or the last icon here is I can send this app into slide over, which is now that whole little, you know, availability where you can slide from the side here and put an app over your split view apps. So here's what else is new and an easier way to kind of open up any application. So you tap on this, you make it split view, and now it's going to show you all of your apps on your home screen. So you can go ahead and swipe and pick any of the apps from your dock, your home screen, folders, whatever. And there's also uh, the ability to use the app drawer. This is also new to iPad OS 15. And the app drawer is actually in two different spots. You can swipe over all the way to the right like you would on your iPhone, or in the dock here, you have a new app drawer or app library icon. It's like a folder with all of your apps. So I can select anything that I want. I'm gonna select the speed test app, why not? And now it automatically opens up in split view, which is cool. So that's what this little new multitasking icon here does. You got those three options and you can pick any application that you want and it's super easy. There's also another new way to uh, add apps quickly in split view. And so if you're in the app switcher mode here, as you can see, um, we have a bunch of different apps open. I can go ahead and actually drag and drop apps onto one another and it will create a split view, side by side view uh, of those two applications. And you can also take them off of each other and make them uh, large again, which is really, really uh, handy that they actually added this in to iPadOS 15. And you'll also see now your slide over apps that are open are on the right hand side. There's also another new feature that Apple implemented called Shelf. And it's not the most intuitive thing as of right now to get to. There's a few different ways you can do it. Um, but here we'll start off with if you're in Safari and you've got a bunch of Safari windows open, um, the usual way to get down to it is you'd go to your dock, you'd long press on Safari and you'd click on all show all windows. And usually it'd bring up a app switcher like view of all those windows. Now it brings up the shelf here, which is at the bottom and you can quickly cycle between your different windows that are open. You can also just tap on the ellipsis icon like you would for uh, split view, but instead, it, if you have multiple windows open, it will bring up shelf at the bottom as well. There is another way to access this and you can do it via a keyboard shortcut. It's not really listed anywhere. I'll tell you how to do it in just a second when we touch on keyboard shortcuts, but yeah, the shelf is here and you can easily um, drag and drop things from your shelf if you want to and they're all here at the bottom. You can close them out if you want. Um, and it's just another unique way to see all of your open windows for one application. And briefly, let's just touch on keyboard shortcuts since if you're using an iPad Pro like I am or any iPad that has a keyboard attached to it, you're gonna wanna not use your fingers as much as possible. Um, so here are a few key commands that you can do. Uh, just hold down the command key and you'll see when you're on your home screen, you'll see the keyboard shortcuts for multitasking. And so it's taking advantage of the globe icon, which I only ever used for emojis. Now it's used for um, multitasking and getting to things like your shelf or your app switcher or to switch between the next app. And so you use the arrow keys and your globe key. So globe and up will take you to app switcher, globe and left or right here if I'm on an app 
will cycle between apps, which is nice. It doesn't tell you which one is shelf, but if you're within an app, uh, like Safari here, and we know we have multiple windows, you just hit command and down, I'm sorry, globe and down, and here is your shelf. This is by far the easiest way to get to it. Uh, because it doesn't require a bunch of different steps like swiping out of the app and going to show all windows. This is by far the fastest way in my opinion. It's just, again, something that you're gonna have to teach your brain on how to use it. So this was just a brief look on multitasking inside of iPadOS 15. It's kind of the same as it's always been. There are a few different you know, new features that might help in the future. It's too hard for me to say right now, and this is just a beta. So as time goes on, we'll see if it's really more useful than what it was. I do think the new ellipsis icon here at the top to switch between apps and make things slide over is a lot easier than what it used to be. And so I'm looking forward to testing it out further, but I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.